Good morning, everyone. How are you? It's Lori. I'm here to do your general reading. Let's go ahead and start with the zodiac die. Today you have rolled Cancer, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, and Leo energies, my lovely, lovely Libras. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Let's go ahead and see what your overall energy for this reading is going to be. By the way, happy Halloween. I hope everyone has an awesome day today. Goes out and uh, enjoys yourself celebrating the Day of the Dead and all that fun stuff. If you're taking the kids or grandkids out, stay safe and have fun. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is. Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Maybe you're feeling cold. It might be cold where you're at. Um, some of you may be feeling like you were not invited to things, um, didn't, aren't part of something here. Kind of feel like you're missing out on something. Uh, it could be that you wanted to throw a Halloween party or an event or something, um, but maybe you didn't feel like you could spend the money to do what you wanted to do. That's a bummer. Um, others of you feel that there, you should have received an invitation to somebody else's event. And yet some others of you are had been had plans to do something and something fell through. So whatever it is, let's see if you overcome this. Let's see if, if you overcome this yucky energy here for the overall energy for the Halloween day. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting some of you just feel cold because you're out in outdoors and it's like damp or the wind is icy cold and it's windy or something. Um, ooh, you could be feeling left out in the cold over a job too. We have the emperor energy here. Yeah, I'm hearing that for some of you, you had plans for the Halloween, but somehow... Uh, your plans got dashed by work. You either have to stay late to do something or... <clears throat> yeah, it's something about having to do some work. Now, that could also be outside of work. It could be something else you're responsible for that you have to do. That's a bummer. That used to happen to me all the time. As a single mother, it's no fun as a single parent. It's no fun to have kids and you're all set up to do things with them and then you're told you can't because you got to work, you got to do this, you have to take care of that. And as you know, as an adult, you have to do those things. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're not going to give up on this idea of celebrating, having fun, having a good day. Um, you're keeping the home fires burning is what I'm hearing. Keeping yourself in a positive energy. Yeah, you're crushed, you're bummed, um, but you'll get over it. Let's see what's going on here. Some of you, unfortunately, I just heard, just got dumped. Like, you were supposed to go to an event or spend time with somebody that you cared about, friend or romantic partner, and they're going to be a no-show. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Or you just got dumped yesterday right before the holiday. There are so many cowards out there in the world that they don't know how to have fun so they break up with you before the event and then they want you back afterwards i hope you don't put up with that kind of behavior there's the eight of wands communication okay so keep the lines of communication open and you will be able to find a solution to this um, a way to take action get something taken care of if you've got a responsibility here you're going to take care of it quickly efficiently properly you're not going to skip any steps or anything where it's going to come back to haunt you <laughs> yes that was a pun um no you're going to do everything the right way so that what do they say one and done you don't have to worry about it so it may take you five ten extra minutes to get it done properly but you are going to do it you're going to take the appropriate steps you're going to get it done you're going to call you're going to move forward okay looks good looks really good now keep in mind these are general readings and i cannot pinpoint the exact situation for each and every one of you but you guys are smart enough to figure out what portion of a reading um affects you and what it doesn't and you know it could be a about work or it could be about something else so take it as it resonates okay 
Don't don't take on anyone else's troubles though. All right. Because you guys are smart enough. You don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what else we've got here for my lovely, lovely Libras. You've got the judgment. Yeah, see, everything works out. You do overcome this challenge here, whatever it is. And like I said, um, you do it the right way. Oh, now if you're, if you've got somebody who did that to you, dumped you right before the holidays, ghosted you, didn't call, didn't say anything, whatever, and they've come back around, you're just going to put an end to this. You're going to make a decision for yourself that you're not going to tolerate that type of behavior without, you know, a phone call, something, something other than coming back two days after the holiday and someone saying, oh, oh, did we have plans? <laughs> no. Um, there is some sort of judgment call here to be made, but it does look to me and sound to me um, from what I'm hearing that you're going to overcome something here. Again, moving past, rising above, making peace with something, putting an end to it. It's going to be your choice, okay, because it's your life. All right, let's see what else we've got. Now, some of you... Um, you will have to make a ju judgment call here about this work that needs to be done, this responsibility, this thing that needs to be taken care of. I'm hearing something about it's out of your hands, you have to do it, but it will come back on you as your full responsibility. Something does close out here. You got the world card on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is going on. What is happening here, please, Spirit? All right, the Ace of, oh, the Ace of Swords. I love this. This means some sort of truth, reality, um, realization, understanding, new beginning is coming in here for you. I am hearing with the Eight of Wands here, you do receive some sort of clarity about a situation. Maybe, I am I hesitate to say this, it's almost as if there's a responsibility that you have to take care of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and the person that's saying you need to do this, and I'm getting a boss, okay, or somebody else where they're just like, you have to do this. You have to do this today. It needs to be done today. They're messing with you. Just so some of you, they're messing with you. They're intentionally doing this because they know you have plans. They don't have any plans. They don't have something going on. And you're going to get the truth about this because you are going to do the right thing. You're going to do whatever needs to be done. You are going to fulfill your responsibility to this situation. I'm not saying you're not responsible for it, but it could have been put off is what I'm hearing. And this person is kind of like, they're unhappy, so they're going to make you unhappy. All right, so you do receive some sort of truth here, clarity, understanding, this may be, you know, after this decision is made, <laughs> um, that's out of your hands. You know, you, you have no control over the situation. Again, I'm, okay, here's a different scenario that just came through is that somebody has children um, and you have split custody and the person who was supposed to have the child has said, oh, I'm sick, I can't watch them, whatever. Okay, they're, they're messing with you. Do what has to be done. These are your children, okay? You may be disappointed that you don't get to do whatever, but you should be happy to have your kids with you. Something of that nature. And, and this is not for everyone, okay? So take it as it resonates. Let's see what else is coming through here. And these are just examples of the situations. And when Spirit gives me the examples, it means it's touching somebody. Somebody who needs to hear the message is getting... Uh, is connected to the message. Okay, look at this. The Nine of Pentacles. So whatever this truth is, it brings in a sense of, oh, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, see? Happiness, joy. It's like, okay, now I've got complete understanding of how this is going to work, why this has happened, and now I can move on. 
I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to think about this again. Mm. Look at this. You got the Fool card. Now, you, on the bottom of the deck, you had the World card. Now, you got the Fool card. Yeah, this is a uh, life's going to be much better for you. In this situation, whatever this relationship is, if you're ending it, you're ending it and you're at making peace with it, you're happy with it being over. If somebody come, you know, whatever your situation is, you're getting a truth that makes you happy. You're getting a clarity and understanding that makes you happy. So whatever that information is, whatever your situation is, it's a, you know, it's your life. Okay, but it makes you happy. And there we go, the King of Wands. I'm hearing a couple things here. The first is this King of Wands comes in, makes things right. Okay, so it could have something to do with your job. Okay, maybe, you know, somebody was testing you here. That could be the other thing, testing you to see how you're going to respond, how you're going to react. In the case of the boss, they may want to see what your level of commitment was to the company. Now, that's the wrong way to go about doing it. I'm going to be flat out about that. That is not the right way to test somebody's commitment to their job, to, to keep them from their kids or things that they want to do. You should never do that. Uh, anyways. Somebody may have done that to you, okay? Now, because you did do the work, you did it properly, you didn't skimp, you didn't, you know, you didn't make um, a mistake or whatever, you didn't rush through it, you may be getting a pay raise, you're going to get at least a nod of the he head from your boss, okay? There's going to be a like, oh, okay, you did do well, you did get through this test. Now, that wouldn't personally make me very happy, but maybe that's what you're seeking. That may be part of your life right now, okay, that you're looking to prove yourself at work. I don't know your whole situation. All I can give you is this moment in time. Um, no matter what here, though, this King of Wands is passionate, excited, moves forward, action-oriented, this could be your energy. This could be somebody around you, Libras. Okay? We do have Aries energy and Leo energy showing on your die there. Now, if you've been watching me for the last little bit, then you know that these may be signs that are in your own birth chart. Okay? That you are coming to the fore to get your attention. Areas of your life you may need to work on, may want to work on. Um... When I say this about your birth chart, it could be your rising, moon, Venus, or a placement in any one of your 12 houses, okay? So say you have Aries in your fifth house, then you know you need to address whatever house the fifth house is about, which I think is money, but don't quote me on that right now, because that's not where I'm at in this reading. I'm not here to do the astrology. I'm here to mention to you to look at your birth chart. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is happening here. You have the chariot. Yeah, this is awesome. Your life does change for the better after this. All right, so one way or another, if somebody ghosted you and you're leaving that relationship, your life is improved. You're freer. You're you're not stressed over this situation, this person, whatever anymore. If you were trying to prove yourself at work, your life is definitely improved, okay? No matter what your situation here is, you're getting a tip of the hat. You're definitely getting a nod from somebody around you. I do feel this King of Wands is an energy around you saying kudos, okay? You've, you've done well. So somebody may be giving you um, accolades, applause, recognition. Some of you are going to receive a pay raise. Some of you may receive um, more responsibility at work. Hopefully that equals a pay raise. It could just be within your family that you treated somebody well, okay? Maybe somebody was around you. Oh, what's his name there? That guy that um, does that show, what would you do, okay? Maybe they're, they're, his crew's out there watching you in a restaurant treat the staff very well, okay? I feel it's so weird because I do feel like so much of this reading is about being 
tested to see if you have ethics, if you have morals, and how you respond when those things are challenged. That is so weird. And see, I feel like if this person broke up with you right before the holidays, they want to see what type of you know morals you have. Do you have any standards? Do you have any principles? Do you have any um, self-esteem? Okay, because if you allow that person back in, they're going to treat you like that constantly after that. They're testing you to see what they can get away with. Oh, please don't don't allow that to happen to you. All right, on the bottom of the um, deck, you have the Four of Cups and the Magician, and oh, and the Devil. So there might be an attempt to emotionally uh, manipulate you here. Okay, we were just talking about that. So use caution there. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this message. Let's get some more information going on here. For most all of you, no, actually Spirit is telling me for all of you, your life is improving for the better. Okay, something good happened here. It's going to happen here for you. So whatever it is, you pass the test, whatever it is. Um, it's good, okay? It ends up being very beneficial for you. Let's see what more we can find out, though, with the Emperor Energy here. Spirit, what would you like to tell us with the Emperor Energy, please? You've got the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands, double twos here. So you may not have all the answers. You may be questioning what's happening here. You've got a decision to make, and it is about your future here with the Two of Wands and Two of Swords. I am hearing, again, um, trusting that things will work out the way they're supposed to. You're just going to uh, do what has to be done. Yeah, it's going to feel very difficult to deal with, very challenging. But you're just going to relax, sit back, especially now that you've got this message from Spirit. You, you'll be able to deal with this situation as it comes up much easier. All right. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Nine of Wands is for you. The Nine of Wands is clarifying the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're not ready to give up, okay? You're going to do what has to be done. You know, for some of you, you know that this is the last straw. This is the last challenge. This is the last test. This is the last time that you allow somebody to treat you poorly or that you have to prove yourself at work before you finally advance okay or in the family or whatever the challenge is this is the last time after this you get to close the door on that after the nine of wands is the ten of wands ten of wands is about completing putting the burden down and using the lessons learned to move forward beautiful energy beautiful message if this is resonating with you tickle tap boop or zap that like button for me go ahead and claim this in the comments if it's resonating also if you have uh are new here welcome welcome i hope you find something that resonates and that you come back in the future if you're one of my awesome returning viewers you know i love you guys to pieces either way i appreciate each and every one of you for spending your time here with me and spirit I appreciate all of your support, all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your coffees, your donations, your personal readings, everything that you do to support me in this channel, I absolutely adore you for. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. I will send you all the details, okay? Clarifying the Eight of Wands. You've got, ooh, more information exchanged here. Page of Swords leads to the Ten of Cups. Wow. So this communication, keeping the lines open, knowing what actions to take, okay? Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So there's an exchange of information here. This is not just... Um, Oh, yeah, you're talking to somebody about this. You're communicating clearly about what makes you happy, where you're, what you want, what you need to be happy. What's coming up with this judgment? Look, you've got the King of Wands and the King of Wands there. King of Wands on the bottom of the deck, and then the King of Wands in your reading. And look at this. You've got the Eight of Wands right here in your reading already, and it just came out to clarify the judgment. So... This is the beginning of the conversation. You're having an exchange of information here. 
It leads to some sort of happiness, goal accomplishment, sense of community, belonging. You're very clear about what makes you happy, okay? And now you're communicating that information after this judgment has been made. So this judgment is coming in towards you. I'm hearing this is an external judgment. Your boss, this person who ghosted you, now they're going to come back in and tell you what their decision is, what they want, what they expect, okay? So you're about to hear something there. Most of you, it will make you feel good. It will improve your sense of um, self-esteem. Others of you, it is going to be challenging. Most of you, though, are going to elevate from this with that um, Queen of Pentacles and then the Hierophant. It's going to bring in stability, happiness. Look at that. The Two of Cups and the Lovers together. Ooh, but we do have the Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody, oh yeah, okay. That's that person who ghosted you. All right, you'll know what to do with that. Okay, you'll figure out for yourself what you want to do there. All right, so clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Star card and the Queen of Wands. Look at this. King and Queen of Wands, and she's looking at him, too. So there's healing, hope for the future, through that clarity, through that understanding, through a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. Um, I hear... I'm hearing... Um, I've got to be careful how I say this. Because this is not about the person who ghosted you. There is a soulmate coming in here for you. Now, that soulmate does not have to be a person. It could be the perfect job. It could be um, a perfect pet, a perfect scenario, a time, event, something that just happens, okay? Something is going to come in here and it's going to feel very, very right, and that's when you get this nod, okay? I, I don't even know how to describe this Queen of Wands because for most of you, it's your energy, how you feel, charismatic, bold, ready, trusting the universe, going after things now that you have this understanding, okay? And it's leading to this Nine of Pentacles, happiness, understanding, joy, freedom, um, self-satisfaction, accomplishment, all right, we got too many cards here, but look at this. You've got Justice, the Hanged Man, and the Three of Cups. That's what's coming in here with this Nine of Pentacles, okay? Justice, after being stuck, there's a new perspective. Now there is celebration, joy, happiness, toasting, being recognized. Um, now you're seeing the justice in, in the testing, okay? Or the proof in the pudding, or you're being recognized for your efforts. Here's that nod of the hat again. And it does have to do with your hard work. Your efforts are paying off. You're being recognized. And it's causing you to let go of something and just move forward. Okay, so some of you, it is about this person. Oh my gosh, look at these cards. Incredible. All right, so you've got some really good things coming up here in the near future. Oh, your life's about to change with that chariot. So things definitely improve, okay, for everybody here. But right here with this Nine of Pentacles, um, the Nine of Pumpkins, you are a sense of freedom, independence, being able to take care of yourself, share the wealth, okay, um, prosperity, joy, promotions. I am hearing promotions. All right, let's go ahead. Now, if it is about breaking up with somebody, you've got a whole different perspective and you're bringing balance back into your life and you're going to have more fun. You're not going to worry about anyone who treated you poorly. You're just going to let that go and keep marching forward, okay? And somebody around you, it, it's like maybe you're tipping your hat and saying, see ya, okay? See ya, keep going. There's the road, just keep going. But I'm also hearing for a lot of you who are saying goodbye to somebody who's not been good for you, the people around you, your family, your friends, they're going to give you a little nod like so that you know that they see how difficult that was for you, but they're not going to get involved in your personal life to that degree unless you bring it up, 
Okay. Yeah, that's a little nod. And I'm, I, I just heard it's even a nod from spirit. All right, look at this. Coming out to clarify the king of wands is the empress energy. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a spirit giving you a nod. Tip of the hat there. Um, you're feeling right as rain. Okay, you're not holding grudges. You're not holding negative feelings towards anyone. In fact, you're feeling very, very happy, very grateful. You're receiving your accolades, okay? But you're not doing it with ego. This is all just pure happiness. That I mean, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels so good. You're being recognized. You've reached the top level here, okay? So if you were... Being tested, if you were proving yourself at work or within a situation, you have hit the pinnacle, okay? The empress, the only thing higher is the emperor, okay? But the, the empress is about receiving, okay? The emperor is about giving, giving orders, giving decrees. The empress is about receiving love, receiving the accolades, receiving and giving love in return, okay? She's, all right. We've got the balance, the temperance on the bottom of the deck. Oh, boy. We still have the two of cups and the lovers there. I thought I moved these cards. There's that truth. The knight of wands is over and done with any cons inconsistency that's upcoming. It's going to end pr pretty soon. So if there's any type of inconsistency, some immaturity, a lack of understanding, um, somebody just rushing in and rushing out that's coming to an end okay all right let's go ahead and see what the chariot energy is here for you guys what a different reading i like this i mean it's definitely going to be difficult for some of you oh my gosh look at this your life is about to change for the better right Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune clarifying the chariot. Things are improving. And it's because of the actions and choices that you have made. This wheel of destiny does not change or move until you move it. Okay? And the only way you move the Wheel of Fortune is by doing something in your life. By choosing a direction and going after it. The chariot choosing a direction. Sheer determination drives the chariot. Only your choices, your decision to move forward, to move in a different direction. That's the what moves that chariot. You're definitely leaving something behind that was not good for you. Okay, it's going to leave a bit of a hole there for a little while. But the next card after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So you will be heading into happiness and joy. And working things, um, working with a new group of people or working in a different environment Working things out easier, working together, mind, body, spirit. That was unity. That was beautiful. And I did get elevation and recognition again. So there's definitely something about a raise, promotion, um, just elevation overall in your personal life status. All right, let's go ahead and get some angel number, um, oracle Angel numbers. Let's just do angel numbers. Spirit, what have you got for my lovely, lovely Libras? Oh, that's so funny because it came out and then it went back in and it came out again. 2002, the void. There will be a little bit of longing. Something to do with technology. Your ambition is definitely at the forefront. Your smarts, your wisdom, moving forward, forward thinking, relief of stress and release of depression. You have more control over your life, Libras, than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you, okay? Put into action those things that make you feel good. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make, so chill out, have fun, and open up. Get outside. Now, what I'm hearing here, there is plenty of times for friends, okay? So when we have to do... There will always be another party. There will always be another event. If you have something you have to do, a responsibility, taking care of that responsibility is the first um, thing to do. There will be other things, okay? So Spirit's saying it. You're not going to miss out on something here. All right. All right, let's see. 
We have 999 release, balance, finances, success with wealth, cycles. What goes around will come around. Your current circumstances are ending. So you might as well take advantage of the better ones that are coming your way. If you are experiencing a significant change or a con conclusion in your life, Viewing yourself as a viewing your life as a series of chapters might be the best way to look at it. How can you make room for something new to come to you? Because if you're if yeah, you have to there's only so much energy or so much room for energy, okay? Make it happen. Let something go so that something better can come in here for you. And spirit is telling me that that is for those of you who are leaving somebody in particular behind okay balance will be restored there might even be an improvement in your money situation because if you're single and somebody's been taking you for your money using you for just to pay their rent or you know so they have a car to drive around now you've got more money right because you don't have to do those things for them anymore all right, but even so, it says here, your current circumstances are ending, so you might as well take advantage of the better ones coming your way. So you have that choice over proving yourself, okay? Your commitment to something. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Six, 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 six. Great blessings. Self-love, having boundaries, meeting your own needs, good vibes, putting them out into the world. Wisdom understanding and letting go nurture yourself my lovely libras nurture your needs your desires and make sure you have your boundaries know who what you stand for what your principles are and let go of things that have been holding you back or weighing you down go ahead and make some space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all the different areas of your life that big love opportunity or job needs to squeeze in somewhere okay so make room for it make room for it love this we're going to get you one more angel number here look at this 8888 personal power material and spiritual abundance wealth resources force balance confidence material gain and epic romance everything that is good and pleasant in your life is about to multiply your angels are sending these numbers to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead for you your surroundings and the people around you are about to treat you with admiration and respect that nod of the hat the tip of the hat the nod of the head Use what you receive for the greater good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This I love that when we get this kind of confirmation from spirit. Readjustments is on the bottom of the deck. 16, 16. Okay, overcoming any difficulties. Make those changes that are necessary. We are going to get you a soul card. What does your soul want you to know here? Do, 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 do. It was 3343 on the timer. Inspiration. You are receiving divine inspiration right now, Libras. Right now. You are receiving it right now. Divine inspiration. And you are awakening. I'm hearing the name Isaac and Isaiah. You are joyously awake and aware and ready for anything including that divine inspiration. Is there a word ayahuasca? Or am I thinking of that? I don't know. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. I think it's a place. Anyways, let's see what else we've got going on here for you. Let's get a raven's wand. These are uh, new to me. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is so funny. She was on the bottom of the deck, and I'm like, I hope I don't get that card. 
because of all the blood. Um, it says Queen of Hearts here. Let's see what, what's going on here. So there is somebody here with a broken heart. I am hearing that. But with a broken heart comes healing and um, release. Queen of Hearts. Let's see what it says here. It's easy to see how the Queen of Hearts symbolizes self-sacrifice. From her wound comes new life in the form of roses growing from her drops of blood. She gains wisdom from the lessons that she learned, as depicted by the serpent's set steady gaze. Okay. We tend to think of self-sacrifice as dramatic and severe. Yet paradoxically, we confront it most often in the humble acts of kindness that we offer to others and to ourselves. That self-sacrifice right there of you had plans to do something and somebody is testing you, okay? You're sacrificing your own happiness to prove who you are, what your morals are, what you stand for, what you represent. Okay, so the queen reminds you that for every sacrifice, your soul matures and you disengage further from the bonds of material possessions. Be glad to give your time or your wisdom. Both you and the recipient benefit in the end. All right, so that's what that was all about. Let's see if there's another message in here for you. That was interesting, not what I was expecting. Look at the size of that full moon back there. That's huge. And you have Nature of the Beast. Hmm. Nature of the Beast. Says, Rudy is a fearsome wild boar that adopted the coven years ago and appears reluctant, reluctant to leave. Zerithia Berry takes her turn at feeding him kitchen scraps. None of the witches are afraid of him, not because he's tame, but because they respect his nature. He's wild, and they do not challenge that. They accept it. Ruder might be true to his nature, but as humans, we have a choice that Ruder lacks. We can choose to be brutish, or we can choose to be civilized. Even if it's not an easy choice to make, the decision is always ours. Okay, so again... If you're leaving someone behind, okay, you're choosing to do it in a graceful way. You're, you're making sure you're taking care of yourself, self-love. Um, yeah, you're not worried about what happens to that person, but you're not allowing anyone to take advantage of you either. Let's get you... Oh, I like these. Let's see what we have here with these oracle messages. I don't know if I asked you to hit that su subscribe button if you're a returning viewer, but if you are, let me know if that subscribe button just lit up for you. And if you are a returning viewer, I hope you will hit that subscribe button if you find value in these messages or just enjoy coming here to listen to me relay spirits messages. All right. Yeah, join our awesome community, okay? We have a really awesome one here. I'm a little bit behind on my responding to comments today. Actually, when you hear this message, it will be yesterday. <laughs> I do these a day ahead, okay? All my messages come out one day after I record them. And that's because life happens, and I want to make sure you guys always have your messages to listen to, okay? All right, so you've got a clear pathway to follow here. Water under the bridge. Yeah, you've got a clear path to follow and water under the bridge. Letting something go, moving forward. Ooh, look at the fire. I'm hearing you are passionate about something new. You're, you're so willing to let this go because you found something better in the future here. You find something better coming your way. Your perseverance with a ram energy. Love those. All right. I am hearing get you your three yes or no answers. All right. 
So I'm going to try to do a short message um, each day and a longer message because I know you guys like both. And then I'll do whatever comes out with the 11 o'clock message, the 11-11 message. All right, let's see. All right, so your first yes or no answer here is you have full control of the situation. Easy adjustments bring you a light and happy feeling of freedom, nice warm emotions, and ennoblement of your life. So um, elevation through respect and grace. Expect exciting events and new um, positive horizons, new things on the horizon. I don't know if this goes with it or not, but I'm going to take it as answer number two is a yes. And it says here, unprecedented joy and happiness, intense inspiration visits you in a whirlpool of events that are coming to you as a result of your high frequency energy. Combined with a favorable set of circumstances, you are being directed toward a different path in your life. Those who underestimate you will be in for a shock. See, I do feel like you are proving yourself that you are not willing to take somebody else's poor behavior, take care of somebody else because they don't want to do the work for themselves. They don't want to take care of themselves. They don't want to grow, expand. We all have to face those things in our life at some point. Um, but this is also about um, being in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, and having it pay off. Okay? All right. So answer number three, yes or no. is a yes. There will be a wave of serenity full of joy and charm. An unexpected chain of events is tumbling over you. You are forced to open up more than you usually do and simply trust in your instincts. Peacefully accept yourself as infallible and everything will happen as it's supposed to in divine timing, okay? So we all are, um, we're not infallible. I, I don't like when people say things like that because we all fail. We do fail, okay? Our attempts don't always work out, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with us. We have to accept that that's the way life is and that we don't succeed the first time we do every single thing, okay? But this is just saying, just good things are coming to you. Open yourself up a little bit more than you usually do and trust in your instincts, okay? Everything is happening as it should. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, channel fans, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.